It's a freezing cold rush hour, but here there are more bells than horns. The Dutch government wants to increase the numbers further. It has a green road strategy, which aims to boost bike-based work journeys by 20% over the next 20 years. There are around 18 million bikes in the Netherlands. Most inner city commutes are done by bike. So it's essential for the economy to ensure these journeys can happen, whatever the weather. And this is one of the revolutionary roads. This is a demonstration model of the glow-in-the-dark lines. They contain crystals that are sensitive to lighting and they collect the light like batteries and they actually give off the light during the night. The government is shutting down street lights at night to save money. So energy is becoming much, much more important than we could have ever imagined 15 years ago. This road is about safety and about envisioning this new self-sustainable, more interactive world that we, in a way, were already in. What we are doing here is testing the de-icing of the cycle lane. A few miles away, they've built roads which can be heated up in winter. This technology works with uh, plastic tubes into the concrete, uh, which through we can lead uh, pump water, warm groundwater. And groundwater has a natural warmth of about 15 degrees Celsius in urban areas. And it's a free energy source. And it's uh, very useful in winter when the surface is iced. The geothermal energy is expensive, but engineers say costs spent on heating the roads will lead to savings elsewhere. We uh, compare it to the costs involved uh, with the accidents, the direct costs, hospitalists, that will cost a lot of money. A lot of people spare costs because biking is a lot cheaper than taking the car. With rising petrol prices combined with concerns about the environmental costs of cars, many countries are looking at how to revolutionize their transport systems. If bikes are to be part of the plan, roads must be safe enough for two wheels as well as four. Anna Holligan, BBC News, in Zvala.